Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International Television. I'm Heba Abdul Ghaffar. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 7 restructuring the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Institute of Public Administration BIPA. The board will be headed by the President of the Civil Service Board and will be compromised by BIPA Director General, the Assistant Under Secretary for Human Resources at the Ministry of Education, the Assistant Under Secretary for Resources and Information at the Ministry of Finances and National Economy. The Assistant Under Secretary for Resources and Services at the Ministry of Health and Adnan Abdul Razak Al Mahmoud as representative from the private sector. Their term of office will be four years. Any provision contrary to those of the edict will be repealed. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today a number of royal family members, officials and Kuwaiti journalist and editor-in-chief of Al Khalij newspaper Ahmad Ismail Behbahani, who is currently visiting the kingdom. His Royal Highness affirmed that the leaders of the GCC have directed all efforts to serve their countries and peoples and develop coordination and cooperation to serve the development of their countries and maintain their security and stability. The Prime Minister noted noted that GCC countries have set an example for unity and cohesion and also noted the unification of the seven emirates as well as the UAE developments model and success story in the region and the world which began in the era of the former president of the UAE, the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan. His Royal Highness affirmed the depth of the historic brotherly relations and cooperation between Bahrain and Kuwait. His Royal Highness hailed the role of the Emir of Kuwait. His Highness Sheikh Subah al Ahmad al Jabr al Subah and his contributions in serving humanity and his initiatives that aim to promote peace and stability in the region, in light of His Highness's wisdom in dealing with various regional and international affairs. The Prime Minister reiterated the appreciation of Bahrain and its people for Kuwait's support to the kingdom's development efforts. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister noted that GCC leaders have exerted efforts to develop their countries and peoples and stressed that the developments in the region and the many challenges it faces require reinforcing joint cooperation and coordination to maintain the security and stability of the region. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of reinforcing joint action and increasing communication and joint coordination among countries on all issues in order to enhance the Gulf security system and enable the region's countries and people to continue their development plans. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa yesterday evening visited the Majlis of Al Fadala family, the Majlis of Al Rumihi family, the Majlis of Al Bainin family, officially opened by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Majlis of Al Kaabi family. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of further enhancing public service delivery in order to achieve the Kingdom's far-reaching development goals in line with the directives and vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The Crown Prince also noted that Bahrain will continue to advance development across all sectors, emphasizing that these efforts are underpinned by the principles of Bahrain's economic vision 2030 and promote innovation and excellence across all government work streams. His Royal Highness affirmed that Bahrain has undertaken a number of initiatives aimed at upholding the highest standards of public service delivery, further enhancing economic competitiveness and encouraging investments in order to benefit the country and its citizens. He highlighted Bahrain's efforts in promote, promoting and improving the infrastructure of service delivery in accordance with best global practices, which includes simplifying and modernizing service delivery procedures. His Royal Highness recognized the importance of further aligning public sector efficiency with the Kingdom's comprehensive development to reinforce the public sector's role as a regulator. For their 
part, the Majlis's hosts and guests expressed their gratitude for His Royal Highness's visit and praised the Kingdom's development progress. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa accompanied His Royal Highness to the Majlis visits.
Bahrain hails the call of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, to hold two emergency summits, one for the leaders of the GCC countries and the other for the Arab leaders in Mecca on May 30th. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs said in a statement that the Kingdom of Bahrain highly values this call from the custodian of the two holy mosques, affirming the Kingdom's full support for all steps taken by Saudi Arabia and appreciating Riyadh's steadfast solidarity and its strenuous efforts to preserve the security and stability of the region and to promote Arab interests. Bahrain affirmed that the wise call by the custodian of the two holy mosques affirms the leading Saudi role in cementing joint Arab action. It also valued the Saudi keenness on enhancing collective action to overcome the delicate conditions in the region through consultation and coordination between the GCC and Arab countries. The ministry said Bahrain sees a unified collective position as the guarantor of security and stability of the countries and peoples of the region and a factor of continued development and progress that would contribute to the maintenance of international peace and security.